Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Please, my car just stopped and it wouldn't move. In thank this area? So yes. You, you, you try sparking it? I don't know what happened. I've been trying to touch it, but it just wouldn't move. I don't think this is a good place to be at this time of the night. I mean, if you don't mind, I suggest you can join me and then maybe you can pick up your car tomorrow. Please, thank you very much. Let me just close sure. the car so I can follow you.
Hello? Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Do you have a room? Yeah. How much is the room? It's uh, 4,000 naira. 4,000 naira? Yes. For this place? <laughs> Madam, yes, sir. Fine, no problem. I'm too tired to argue. Fine. Listen, I have only 5,500. That's the last money I have. Okay. My guy, just take this and give us two rooms. Please. <laughs> uh, okay, now 4,000, we they give room here. Two, 8,000. I know, I understand. See, we are from far away. This lady, I don't really know her like that. We're going somewhere. I'm going to, and we got robbed. Just try and understand, I beg. Just okay. understand, it's late now. I would have loved to help, really, but uh, if it's anything less than 8,000 for two rooms, I... Fine, you get four. Can I use it to make a call? Yeah. It's just 100 naira for a minute. 100 naira? <laughs> That's how you did job. That's how you did job. Everything, that's how you did job. Let me call my wife and see if maybe she can come with the other car. Huh? Because. Hello? Hello, Anne? Anne, Anne, wait, wait, wait. I got robbed. Anne, Anne. Is there a problem? She cut the line. Yes, there is a problem. I need to settle at home. Oh, God. You don't have a friend or somebody you can call. Yeah, I could, I could, I could call Kenny. I have his number offhand. Three, seven, one, four, three. Kenny. Yes, Kenny, hi. Yes, this is Joel. What's up? Uh, yes, I know it's late. I know it's late. I'm sorry. But listen, Kenny, I, I'm in a little... I'm, 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 I'm in a situation right now. I was on my way to Inugo and I got robbed. Yes, and, and I need you to... Shit. Can you believe this? What's that? Out of minutes. That's no problem. Please help us refill it. Let's continue. Uh... With a cello but our own finished this evening and we charge that new day. Oh my god. How am I supposed to call the hospital? I have no vex. Oh god, what kind of problem is this? What kind of tribulation is this god? You still want the room? We want the room, that's why we are here. So take the five thousand five. The two of you can share one room, you can manage. Our bed is wide, so. There's no say, you know, try. Okay, I'm not going to ask that. Nah, too many things. Give me change. I'll go find the change. wife's number you can always me reach me on that until I can get my phone back in order are you sure yeah I'm sure I know I have some issues but I will, I'll sort it out you can call me on that number I really do hope you sort it out your car what about your car oh that that shouldn't be much of a problem it's fully insured I will just alert the police and I, <laughs> I hope to get it in good time 
Thank you so much for your kindness. I'm really grateful and I will stay in touch. You're welcome. I mean, no regrets. I mean, who knows? I could have gotten shot. Something else could have happened to me if you were in there. God forbid. You know, people say women are the natural pacifiers in certain situations. So I thank God you were around. We have to leave really early tomorrow. Yeah, so we should sleep, right? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure you'll be okay sleeping on the floor? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just want you to be comfortable, so. Feel free, I'm fine. Yeah. I hope you don't mind if I take off my shirt. Oh, it's okay, you can take it out. Okay. Ah, good night. Problem? Yes, um, you have a phone call. From who? <laughs> I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hello? Yes, Ken, Ken, Ken. Sorry, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I didn't say uh, I came home last night. I didn't say that. Look, I have, I have, I have I just been through something terrible. What? What? Now? No, no, Kenny, listen, 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 listen. I can explain, okay? I will, I, will, I will let you know what it is. Just, please just hold it down for me. Just, just hold it and I'll, I'll be there. Okay? All right, man, thanks. Thank you, thank you. No problems. No, 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 it's, uh, it's a problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll solve it. We gotta go. Once I get home, I'll just solve it. Come on, let's go. He's holding the phone, so... What are you waiting for? Yes, um, money for receiving calls. Will you get out? Get out! Come on, there. you still have my change. One minute you want to receive, one next minute you say you want to call. Mad man. So, can, can we go? Yeah, sure. I, I, I need to get back. Driver, do you have a phone? Ah, but that be don't ask me before. I get phone, but credit is not there inside. Step, you will bring my more by credit. It's okay, I forgot. And just park anywhere now, where we can get credit to buy. Just anywhere. Wait, 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 please. My mechanic, that's my mechanic. What? Wait, please, wait. Godwin. So this. Ha, ah, madam. I don't call your number. What thing happened? After that time you spoke with me, mm -hmm. the man in that car was trying to give me a lift. Arm robbers, they took everything, including his car. What? I'm telling you. I don't believe this. Don't say it again. I'm telling you. See you. That man that helped me. No. So sorry. Ada? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Please, I'm coming now. So, how far? My, my car is just a little overheating, but it's okay now. That was the reason why I couldn't come when you called me last night. I mean, you can drop me up at the hospital. Uh, I can, but we, we have to locate the car first. Where is the car so I can see it? I'm going to show you where the car is. Let me tell you my neck. Let them let them go now. Hurry. Sorry, thank you very much. That's my mechanic. Okay. Uh, so I'll just go with him to the hospital. He wants to see where the car is. Fine. Then from there to the hospital.
So driver, like we discussed, just give me a few minutes, like five minutes, I'll go in and bring the money, okay? Yeah, okay, no problem. But remember, yeah. time is money. Oh, no problem, I'll sort you out, okay? I'll, I'll compensate you for the time wasted. All right. Come in. I got to find out. And then I decided to confront him about the phone. I called him and he lied to me. He told me he was in Lagos. Then I decided to dish out my impeccable proofs to his knowledge. He suddenly went quiet. Someone who told me that I didn't know what I was talking about and that I was talking bullshit said that it didn't, it didn't happen the way I heard it. Annabelle! That he would... Annabelle! Stop! I'm a bitch! Come on! It's okay! <laughs> Tell him not to fool me again. He shouldn't play with my intelligence. Sorry, it's... Calm down. Come on. Don't ever serve me with cheap and gratuitous lies. Did you hear me? I'm sorry. No! You're a pathetic liar. Danny, there's a cab driver outside. Can you give him oh, 10,000 naira? I'll sort you out later. Oh, it's all right. Come on, take it easy. I got this. I got it. <sighs> and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm putting you through a lot. And I should have confessed. Whatever the case, just know that the child is not mine. It doesn't make any difference. It makes a lot of difference. Baby, I'm human. I made a mistake. My own humanity does not get me involved with in extra marital sex with the clerks in my office. Jewel! I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Jewel, it doesn't make a difference. Especially now that you have a baby boy. Lose it! I don't have a child! I don't, I don't have a boy or girl, okay? And everything is proving right here. And what the hell is that? It's a DNA test. Confirming that. All of this is just a charade to destroy what we share. Baby, I'm sorry. Okay, I know you cannot conceive, but I'm not going to go out there and, and disgrace you like that. <laughs> yes. All this is now a charade. God, how can this me into this nonsense? What, 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 what? Baby, wait, wait! This is the this is the result. Look, I can explain. This this is the wrong one. This is the wrong result. I, I have to write. This is the one that her brother's friend influenced from the hospital. I did another one at the teaching hospital. I, baby, this is wrong. Where is it? I, I got it. I got it. Where is the result, you were?
from? Are you cold? Yes. Have my jacket. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you. Please help me hold this. Don't accelerate you. Where is it, you son of a bitch? Just listen to me! Listen to you? Listen to you, Jua? I should listen to you? To your lying, deceiving, and conniving hell of a family? God! Just calm down. Can you just hear me out? Let me just explain. Explain what? You son of a bitch! You and your entire lying, deceiving, and conniving hell of a family! Damn you, Jewel! Damn you and your family! Damn! Is that what you think? Are you sick in the head? Is something wrong with you? It's about me now, right? I'm trying to explain something to you. It's you and your entire family that has been and will continue to be sick, not me! I hate you, Jewel. God damn your family! I hate you all! Okay, go with the car! Go ahead! Take it! I don't need the car and I don't need you! Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> Can I hit you? <laughs> oh, how is he got your hair? I don't know. The doctor came in here and was saying all sorts of things. What did he say? He was just lamenting about you not getting here on time with the inject in injections and how bad the boy's health could be. Besides, early this morning, he, he, he started stealing blood. Crown? Stealing blood? What did the doctor do about it? He did nothing. Nothing. And, and by the way, what happened yesterday night and early this morning? He did nothing. I have to go and see the doctor. I mean, I'm not satisfied in the state in which my son is in. I have to see him. Hello, Kolo. Have you ever suffered, mom's young man? Uh, no. Are you asthmatic? No, doctor. Get away from me! Daniel, can't you see that the doctor is busy? How can I give you time when I don't have time myself? It's alright, it's alright. Nurse, I'll, I'll take it on from here. Mom, you're here now. Doctor, I don't like the state in which I found my son. Young man, can you please excuse us? It's okay, doctor. Madam, you should remember, you should note that whatever situation you found your son was basically because of the fact that you did not provide the medications as at when due. Remember we had a time frame. Oh, we had a time frame, all right. That was why I drove at 6 p.m. to Onicha to get the drugs, okay? Now don't make me feel like I haven't done enough. Just don't! Correct. Right. Okay, you have the injections now, right? Yes, I... Okay, let's go. Do you have them yet? Nurse, call in, the, call, call in that young man for me, please. You said her name is... Her name is... Uh, uh, is she pregnant? No! Nurse, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for shouting. I'm, I'm just getting frustrated, okay? I, I don't know if she's pregnant or not, but I don't think so. I, mean, I hardly know this woman. Can you just, just go through your book? Check, check the book if, if there's any child that is in the intensive care unit, you know, whose mother is, what's this lady's oh, name? okay. I think I remember. Good. A child is suffering from tension in uterus, right? Well, yes, maybe. I, I don't, I wouldn't know. John! Yes. Please come. Please take this man to amenity room 4. Okay, okay. Thank you, nurse. Um, Which way? God, 
What happened? She dropped again. Is there nowhere else we can contact him? But our phones were stolen the same day. What am I supposed to do? Mm. Well then? Oh, doctor. What is happening? I've been waiting in the office. I thought you said you had the medication. Doctor, there was a problem. Problem? That's, that's not the person I'm looking for. That, that's a girl child, right? Yes. Oh, God. I'm looking for a boy. It's a boy child. The mother's name is... Um, I... I... Uh, Ada. Is there any, you know, patient here and the mother's it's called Ada? No, no. I don't think we have such a patient at this hospital. Excuse me. Uh, so, sorry. Is there another hospital in the vicinity I can check and find out? suggest you go out, comb around the pharmaceutical stores and search for those drugs, those medication, okay? It doesn't, doesn't make sense to me that you, you cannot find cytotoxic drugs within the city. Doctor, are you suggesting I leave him here alone again? Mm, yes, I suggest you leave him alone, okay? Because the key to his survival is not you being here with him, it's those drugs. Ada, Ada, please go, okay? I'll, I'll stay with him. I would have done that for you, but I don't want to run into my boss. And then all the lie I cooked up to be here would be busted. Please. I understand. I do. Please, I will, uh, I will have to leave now. As soon as you get the drugs, please let me know. Please. Sorry, um, I, I mistook you for somebody, somebody else. I'm sorry about that. No problem. What, what, what nurse? Is there somebody in I can yes, talk to? Yes. All right, thank you. I'm going to. Yeah, madam. Um. Yeah. Never decide. I'm going to police station. Police station. Which one? Case and or intensive care case we had or just discharged yesterday. Have you gone through everything? Yeah, just that. Well, thank you. Um, don't you have the phone number of this paper so you can call them? No, I don't have it. Thanks for your time.
sure this is not the house? Because the directions, the address says this is the house. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. This house is and the only number 40 in the entire street. So I'm sure. Okay. Who is that Linda? Oh, I don't know. Some guy is... Uh, Ma'am, good day. It's a good day already. How may we help you? Yes, um, I'm actually looking for a lady. I believe she lives here. The address says this is the house. Her name is Ada. <laughs> what a courage. Excuse me? Oh, you were excused. I said what a fragrant courage that you have. Ma'am, I, I, I don't understand. How can you not understand? Where you had the audacity to walk into my family house in search of my daughter-in-law. Probably for a propagation of you two's ungodly extramarital assignation. Which I wouldn't think that you presume that I don't know of. I beg your pardon? No, why beg for it? When I'm such a bunch of verbal talent. Oh, you didn't hear me, right? Or are you surprised that I have found out all along? You know what, ma'am? I think there is some misunderstanding of identity here. Because Ada, your, your daughter-in-law, I barely know her. We only met last night. And as a matter of fact, what happened... In a nightclub, a house. Yes. Or should I give it to the name she normally gives to it? Night Vigil. No. You know what, ma'am? Thank you very much. I think I have the wrong house. It's the wrong address. Why the princess now? Wait, wait, wait. When you had it relayed upon your interest, a gentleman. Or is this not the other? You are looking for. Yes, madam. Uh, there was a car thief by 0500 hour. But not by anybody named Joan or whatever you call him. His name is Mr. Joel. Mr. Joel. Joel. That one was reported by one. One miss. That one was reported by one miss. This is mad of number. Uh, excuse me, do you see do you see any stolen car? Please, sir. We were both robbed yesterday. His phone was stolen, so was mine. They even smashed his car. But after that time, I gave him something really important to help me hold. Something that has to do with life and death. That's why I'm looking for his address, sir. All I need is just his address. Okay. I've asked your boys downstairs and they said somebody did report a stolen car. Okay. Please, sir, help me. I'm begging you, I don't have any money, but just, okay, so just buy a drink. Share the address you want. Just the address, sir. Is that this no, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Please, sir. Uh, anyway, what is the name of the man? Mr. Joel. His name is Mr. Joel. Mr. Joel. Yes, Mr. Joel. Nurse. Sir, please wait. Nurse, can you... Can sir, you... I'm also busy. Listen to me, nurse, I'm in a hurry. Okay, I need to give somebody this medication. Can't you see that I'm busy with something? Or is it not the same attention you want me to give you that I'm applying to do what I'm doing right now? Whatever you're doing is paperwork. It can wait. I need to give someone this medication. Nurse, excuse me. Yes, doctor. Uh, I got a call from the teaching hospital and I'm going there now. If uh, the woman comes back, the woman with the drug for the child at intensive care, ask her to hold on for me. Okay, doctor. And then, don't bother calling me because I won't stay there. Yeah, who's who's there? Yes, hello. I am looking for Yes, uh my name is Joel and I am There is no way, Mr. Jewel, I am going to give that jacket to you. And why not? Because I don't know what is inside. Fine. I'm telling you, whatever is inside is mine. How did I get the medication? Where did I get it from? Mr. Jewel, I do not know you and I can't give it to you. I'm saying it is. I need the jacket. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Lord. Please, help me call the doctor. Where, where can I find? Where can I find the doctor? Where he does, please. I 
Jaya, Mr. Joe. Okay, thank you. I don't mean no Mr. Joe. I mean the other Mr. Joe. No, I am the only Joe in here. So how can I help? You? I please, sir, please, sir, please, sir. I've been waiting here since for Mr. Joe. Please, I'm begging you. Mr. Joe is with my child's medication, and my child is in the hospital. He's dying. Please, I'm begging you. Just call him. Let him give me the drugs. Let me go. Madam, my name is Tony Joe. J E W E. No, Mr. Joe, please. Go inside, call all the jewels that are there. Let me choose the one I'm looking for. Madam, my name is Tony Jewel, J-E-W-E-R. So please, if you have a problem, go and sort yourself out. What's happening? You want my child to die? What is happening? Madam, please sit down. I can't sit down. Please, just okay. Go in, call the remaining Mr. Jewels that are inside there. Let me see all of them. I'll be pointing Mr. Jewel I'm talking about. Madam, make a I am Mr. Jewel. So if you're looking for any other Jewel, he's not here. But I'm the only jewel, Tony jewel, in this place. So sit down, calm down, and tell me what's going on, please. So. Hey, mom. How was the trip, son? Fine, mom. Where's Linda? She'll be somewhere inside. Mom. Is Crown of God discharged from the hospital yet? Well, to the best of my knowledge, no. To the best of your knowledge, no. What do you mean by that? Chris, can we talk about more important things, please? Mom, what could be more important than the delicate health condition of your grandchild? Mom, what's wrong with you? What has come over you? You don't talk to me like that. I will talk to you anyhow. Otherwise, you give me a reason for being so indifferent to the plight of your grandchild. Other than your, your, your gratuitous suspicion on his helpless mother. You shouldn't be ridiculous, Christine. Mom, you're the one who's being ridiculous. Linda. What's the latest on Crown of God's illness? Hmm. Me. You have no idea. Mom, did you hear that? <laughs> what amazement. Mom, are you doing this because George is not your biological son? You shouldn't be ridiculous, Christian. You are the one who is being ridiculous. Otherwise, you give me a reason why you are being so wicked and indifferent. You are being wicked and you are exercising the highest level of, 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 of bestial savage I've ever seen. Same. Better than being wicked. And you, Linda. You're not yet banned yet. Mom! Is he calling me or what? What's Don't the meaning of that? Him. Don't find him and stupidity. <laughs> Let me see that prescription again. Okay, please. Bolso, bolso, bolso. Is this boscopan or bosofan? Oh God, I don't know. I'm not a medical practitioner. It must be boscopan because we don't have boscopan. Oh, please. Just give me the medicine the way they wrote it in the prescription. Well, we don't have any drug by that name, bosofan. All we have is boscopan. Please, what about the others? We don't have them equally. Then why did you stop me now? Do you understand when I say a child is dying? Do you quality get that the doctor is not available? So call him! I said I cannot! That's what I'm saying. Who is this doctor that you can't call him when there is an emergency? I dare you walk out on me! So let's take it easy now. How can I take it easy when the child is dying? Excuse me, Emma. What wrong would you be for in this place? Good day, sir. I'm looking for my nephew. His name is Crown. Okay, take your left up the stairs. They are in the intensive care ward, too. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome. Nurse, call the doctor. You gotta call the doctor. Where's his mother? 
no, she's, she's been out since morning for some prescribed medication. She left it somewhere. How is he doing? Deborah, Jesus, did you notice it's dripping through the nose? It's, it's been dripping since morning. I've been cleaning it. And where are the doctors and the nurses? We've been trying so hard to convince the nurses to call him on phone to come here. He's not been around. Dr. Jude, right? I think so. Hello? Yeah, man, Jude. Jude, please. You have to rush down to your hospital right away. My nephew is dying here and there are no nurses. Nobody's here. Okay. Please, in the name of God, hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, thank you. He says he's in cold. He's on his way. Christ. Such a goddamn place. So annoying. How did he end up in, in, in this place that you call a hospital? Hello? Hello, man. You're the guy I saw downstairs? Are you a dad's husband? Uh, no, I am uh, her brother-in-law. And you? Oh, good, good. My name is Joel. I, I came to pick up my jacket. You know, I, I have something important in there. I, I brought uh, the little boy's uh, medication. I met Ada yesterday on my way to Enugu. I think her car broke down. I was trying to help. But Rob, uh, was I, it because of him you were having quarrels downstairs? Yes. Those crazy nurses. No. No. Look, we... What's happening here? What kind of a hospital is this? Look, I have to get back at Jude. They can't be this on serious and leave my nephew to die? Oh my god. Hello, Jude. Please, you have to drop whatever it is you're doing and rush down here. My nephew is dying, please. If you're not going to come here now, I'll have to take him away. No. No. No, no, Miss Ada. What happened? Calm down, Ada. Nothing has happened. Debra, I asked you to take care of my son. What happened to him? He's fine. No. He's fine. No. Mr. Joa. It's fine. It's the truth. What they are saying is the truth. I, I even brought the drugs too, but the doctor said because of the time wasted, they, they have to just do some checks on it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm. I'm are you, uh, I've been looking for you everywhere. I have been looking for you everywhere as well. I went to every clinic, every hospital, just trying to find you. Have you settled the, the falls you have with your wife now? That's why I'm here. My jacket. The DNA result is in there and she doesn't know me. So Please, Deborah, the jacket is his. He's helped me so much for one day. I'm so sorry. Um, you don't have things to sort out. Yeah, so I'll be going. Good, good luck on the board. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. Take care. Thanks, where is he? He's fine. 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 He's I have always known that this our marriage wouldn't last. But I kept faith, put in my best until now that you have irretrievably tore it apart. So what more can I do 
if not to carry on with my life. At least, you have nothing to lose. I'm the one who's lost everything. My family, my good paying job, and almost my life. All in showing you love and trying to make our marriage work. If not, you've got nothing to lose, I said. Your son is there, and your ever caring and possessive family would also be there for you. So that's why I just have to back off and try to pick up the pieces of my life. I am headed right now to Lagos, from where I'll catch the next available flights to the UK. Thank God I did not lose my citizenship as well. So Jua, thanks for teaching me a lot about life and trust. My only regret is that I did not get the honor and respect I deserved as someone who sacrificed a lot for us. In your scheme of getting rid of me, something like an honorable dismissal would have been okay for me, Joel. But all the same, thanks. Give me the chance. Give me the chance to explain this already. The result is ready. Out of bed. And my baby. But the results were right here. It's all right here. I went through hell to get you this. I went through hell. How long is this checkup going to take? It's been a while. And I've told you to calm down. They're going to be out in a while. Just calm down. Yes, take it easy, okay? Nurse, nurse, please. We've been waiting here since they said they are doing checkup. How long will it take? Doctor. Uh, Chris, how madam, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. How is he? Um, Kristen. I'm listening now. Wait. Yeah. How is he doing? Couldn't make it. What? Take her, it's okay. Take her. Anna, you did your best. We all did our best. Well, you know what they say God's will always prevails. He was my life, He was my heart. But I have to take her too. God gives and takes. Why didn't you just listen to me this last time? Why didn't you just grant my heart desire and leave crown alone? It was my strength. It was my heart. Mom. Baby. Mom. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Baby. My crown is gone. My I, crown is gone. Mom. I heard. <laughs> I just came in last night. Baby, you have to be strong. Okay? Oh, Susan. Hi, Edna. You're welcome. Thank you. Good day, Ma. Thank you, Chris. Welcome, Ma. Thank you. Oh, Deborah. Thank you so much for your support. May God bless you for me. You look nice. Bless you too, Ma. You know what pain me most, Mom? 
Aaron and I suffered so much wickedness before he died. I named him Crown. I named him Crown because I felt his birth was the death of it all. I was wrong. I wanted him to leave and make me victorious, Mom. That was all I wanted. Just oh. Come on, baby. You still won. No, Mother. <laughs> if I won, then where is Crown? Where is Crown? I lost. I lost and I lost. Woefully. I just lost. You don't talk like that, Ada. You don't talk like that. Don't you dare tell me how to talk. You hear me? Don't you dare! Dora, my God. Edna. Please calm down. Excuse me. Hell no. I will not come down to this sort of impunity. Madam, please. Madam. Mom, don't go in there, no? No, no, Mom. Mother, no! Mother, let me do this now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, O Lord, and this thy gift, which we are bound to receive from thy bounty through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That young man has finally destroyed my daughter. Honey. I know that he is not dead, but he must be languishing in prison somewhere overseas because of his drug deals. He will suffer. Dad, Mom, please, can we just eat? Look, Dixon, if you have appetite, please eat. Don't expect me to eat when I know that my daughter is in danger. Dad, please. Let's just eat. Shut up. You're sitting down there asking me to eat. When I was fighting tooth and nail to ensure that this idiot does not take away my daughter, what did you and your mother do? Both of you were sitting on these very seats, telling me how unreasonable I was. Now look at the situation. Dad. A good Christian does not discriminate. And that's exactly what you're doing. A good father should be so concerned about his daughter's happiness. Listen to me. I'm a knight of the church. And I must adhere punctiliously to the doctrines of my faith. And it must remain that way. Because I belong to the one and only apostolic faith. Honey. <coughs> Shouldn't you just try and see if you can come to terms with the demands of the present situation? For how long are you going to nurse this malice against our son-in-law? Forever. And let me tell you something, Edna. That idiot is not my son-in-law. He stole my daughter against my consent and married her in a church that defied the marriage canons of my own faith and you are asking me to accept him of course i will not dad the marriage yes. canon of your church should not strive to sow disunity and divide amongst people created by one and only god otherwise your church cannot be said to be holy and one in the actual sense of oneness joseph your daughter just lost her only child and if you ask me, I'll say that what she deserves from you is heartfelt sympathy. No matter in which church or denomination she's married in. All right. I've had both of you. Let us eat. Aren't you going to lay your head down at Cassie's I was wrong. Honestly, Edna, I was wrong. If I had stuck to my position, I'd been you and fought that young man with 
every ounce of my strength and I wouldn't have come to this mess quite honestly. Darling, please. Darling, please. That's all you're going to tell me. Darling, please. What do you think I should say? Believe in your line of thoughts that Ada's marriage to George is responsible for Crown's death? Yes, because that marriage was not ordained by God in the first place. Come on, darling, don't be ridiculous. What do you mean, don't be ridiculous? Okay, sorry. Don't be fanatical. You don't need to be a fanatic, darling. Marriage is marriage, irrespective of the denominations. Sweetheart, misfortunes are bound to happen. Look, if an ordained man of God had officiated at that wedding, this situation couldn't have arisen, and I mean every word of it. So, what you're trying to tell me right now is that my miscarriage of my first pregnancy after our marriage has more to it than meets the eye? Or is there something you're not telling me? What do you mean if there's something I'm not telling you? Like what? Like what? Like that miscarriage. Because a validly ordained man of God officiated at our wedding. Don't be sarcastic. For God's sake, don't be sarcastic. I just want you to accept the truth. Crown's death had nothing to do with the history of his parents' marriage. Why don't you just accept that fact and, and pray fervently for the repose of that innocent soul? Now that it's all over, I sincerely hope Ada comes to her senses, comes back home as early as possible, and picks up the threads of our life once more. She had to start from the very beginning. Ada, so what's your plan now? Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. Is there no conclusive information on George yet? No. I just hear that they say they found the cops. I think the best thing for me is just to have my mind fixed on the fact that he's dead. It's okay. It's okay. Take it Somebody is here to see you. Who? Yes. You. I'll be out in a minute. I was at the hospital and I heard what became of your son. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Adam. Oh, Hi, Mr. Joe. Um, I'll be leaving. Thank you. So I'll see you later as discussed. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Joe. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. How's the family? They're fine. Fine. And yours? Your, your mother-in-law, Chris? Christian is fine. Are you sure you don't want anything to drink? Oh, no. No, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. You know, I must commend you because what you're going through is not easy. I totally understand it. Thank you. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stir up any... Oh, oh, no, no, I mean... Uh, no! I'm sorry, I'm... 
I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm fine. I mean, don't mind all that. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm very fine. Thank you so much for coming. I honestly appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. It was a pleasure, you know, visiting you. And thank you for hosting me. Anytime. Just know that you have my condolence. Okay. Hey, did you get your phone back on? Oh, yes, I did. Deborah got it for me. Oh, oh I got mine. I think I got it the very next day. My phone is a live wire to my business. I don't, I don't, I don't play with it. So yeah, I think I should go in now. Is he gone? I said, is he gone? Yes, he is. Okay. I was wondering if it indeed will not be an absolute mark of respect for the institution of marriage that these lovers of yours stop coming here to express it all out before our very decent eyes. It is discussious, you know? Yes. Yes, it is. So, are you going to tell them? Or would you have me tell them myself? Which do you prefer? I think you should try to tell them yourself. Because that way, maybe none of them will have to encounter me with the abject mode of friendliness. This is your fusing. Have you been coping with that, your savage, recalcitrant stepmother-in-law? Joseph. Edna, can't I express myself in my own house? Must he always be in that tone and on the same subject? It's okay, Mom. It's fine. That's one of the reasons I came here. I've made up my mind to move back in here. I mean, I have no reason staying away from home for no one or person in particular. I said it. I said you were never married in the first place and your mother wouldn't believe me. Joseph, please. Edna, please give me a break. Must you keep sounding like a broken record about a marriage of over seven years? Listen, you don't build on nothing and expect to get something. How can I recognize marriage that did not exist? That never existed? I so very much to Joseph. Joseph, why don't you stand up to it and recognize it? Irrespective of what the marriage has become, after all. I sincerely wish you had yourself. Good. Irrespective of what the marriage has become. You are saying that. Now remember, our Lord said, and I quote, Upon this rock I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Unquote. The young man tried to prevail against it. This is the result. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> oh my God, I said it and he wouldn't believe me. <laughs> it hasn't worked. I, um, well, I, I, was, I, was, I was thinking if you want to come with me for dinner tonight. Joel, I am, um, I. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. I, I, 
I was just thinking I could... No, 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 I mean... You're not, you're not pushing me. What time are you looking at? Dad, I'm coming, I'm online. Sorry about that. What time are you looking at? Well... Thank you for this. Oh, um, it's a pleasure. This leaves an impression. The dinner, I mean. Does it? Yeah. Maybe we should just eat. Yeah, yeah I think we should. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I mean, thank you for everything. You're also. welcome. I should give now. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Ghostland and recalcitrant cruising. Where the hell do you think you're heading to? After that shameless display of immorality with that escort of yours. I beg your pardon. No, not this time. Because we never have my pardon once again in your loose life. Until you guard up your ethics and resist from disgracing the moral rectitude this family is known with. Do you hear me? No. Because you're insulting me. I'm only warning you. But if you want to see insults, dare to display such brazen act of lasciviousness within my household next time. And you will see demon. Mom? What's going on here? Don't ask me. Ask the slot. What? 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 Ada? Ada, wait! Mom? Are you insane? When did it get to this extent? You're calling someone's wife a slot? What's wrong with you? That's what she is. That is the more reason she should be a... Do you shut up your mouth? Priestess! Oh, you had better not put my widest off limit this night. Mom, you are already off limit. You know what? I think you need to see a psychiatrist. What? What? Did he just say that to me? Did Chris just say that to me?
So what do we do now? That your street gate is locked? Honestly, I don't know. I know they usually shut the gate at 9 o'clock. They give an extra 30 minutes grace. But anything from 10 o'clock or past 10, they've all gone to sleep. Okay. Well, um, I want to suggest something and I hope you don't think that I'm, you know, getting into your private life. Um, whatever happened back there, can it like, you know, wait till tomorrow morning in terms of your decision? You know, because by tomorrow morning, I'm sure you would have done a proper analysis and make the right decision. You know, so I want to suggest that I drive you oh, back. Oh, no, 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 please. Please don't say that. Please. Okay. So, what do we do? I can't imagine living without your smile. Yeah. I can't believe it. My heart is aching too. Well, well, Mom, I'm here to inform you both that Hada has left after all. Hey! That's good news. Yeah, so. <laughs> what did you say? You had me, Christian. And please, spare me the troubles of a late night hula balloon. Mom, we have to discuss this and it has to be now! Good night, my daughter. Good night, mommy. Oh. Hmm. Get, get, get. feel comfortable. The rooms are right through that door. Okay, and that's the dining area, obviously. Can I get you something to drink? Hmm. What? Is there something in particular that you want to drink? How do I make him understand that I am an adult? I can fend for myself. I can make decisions and 
be liable for those decisions. He won't let me. He wants to be involved in my life. He won't let me go free. He won't let me leave my life. He has to let me free. I want to make my own rules. I want to make my own decisions. I want to make my own rules. He humiliates me, Joel. He brings me down before people, events. I'm 28. I want to. I want to fight for myself. Then I got married. I fell in love with George. We were so much in love with each other. My dad never liked George. Never. He hated him so much. And then George traveled and disappeared. I heard lots of things. Some said he died. Some said he was alive. Some said he drowned. I didn't hear from him for so long. We had a son together. Crown. Crown. That's his name. And then I loved him so much. I stayed. I waited. <laughs> I waited even when they were mean to me. His stepmother, his stepsister. I think I think you you drank too much. Fine. <clears throat> All mean. <laughs> Fine. <gasps> All of them were mean to me. I drove to the airport at 1.30 p.m. I mean a.m. at night while I was in labor. I was alone. Nobody, nobody went with me. I drove myself. How do I start? How do I explain to you what I've been through? I've seen it all, Joel. I've seen it all. I've seen love. I've seen pain. I've seen humiliation. I've seen... I've seen loneliness. In a heart. I've seen it all. I've seen all of it. All of it. All. I know it all by their names. I think you've had too much. Let me free. I have to move for myself. I have to make decisions for myself. I have to decide. I have to decide for myself. I have to choose. I have to choose. You'll be fine.
Suma. She got angry and left. I, I don't understand you. She left? Yes, ma. Are you saying she's not at your family house right now? No. That's the reason I came. I, I thought maybe she came over. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What brings you this early to my house? He is saying that um, Adora packed some of her things and left last night. To where? To where? Honey, that's exactly what we're trying to figure out now. You better make sure this is none of your own making or you'll be sorry. But I only arrived... I am not interested in your story. Just make sure nothing happens. Listen to me. If anything happens to my daughter, you'll be sorry. Dixon, get me my phone. Honey, let's just take it easy. I am not taking it easy. If anything happens to that girl, himself and his entire family will test my wrath. You just wait. Get me my phone! Adora, is that you? Where are you? I'm at a friend's place. Are you alright? Yes, Dad, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll soon be home. You sure you're alright? It's alright, we'll be expecting you. Bye. Is everything alright? Yes, yes. Somebody told him I wasn't home, so he got to know where I was. Thank you, Estelle. She's alright. She says she'll be here shortly. Last night. I was at his place. He came to drop me off, but the gate was locked at that time. Why didn't you go back to the place you call home instead of uh, spending the night in the arms of a total stranger? He's not a stranger to me, Dad. Joseph, why don't you calm down and let her explain to us what happened? Adora. Nothing more. Just like I told you I was going to be leaving there, I did. Your decision to leave your matrimonial home, does it have anything to do with that young man? Oh, please. Answer the question. Answer the question! Well, no! Apparently. Maybe in the near future. Did you hear that? I mean, how dare you tell me such a thing, apparently? Have you forgotten the sixth commandment that says thou shalt not commit adultery? Have you? But that, I thought you've always held this view that she was never married. Shut up. Besides, all marriages last till death. Or do you still believe George is still alive? For God's sake, shut up! What is it, Dad? What is it you want with my life? Haven't you pushed me long enough already? Don't you think it's time you graciously allowed me space, time, and freedom? How much longer would you want me to live my life for you? You and you alone? God! Did you see the way she spoke to me? 
I'm inside. Dixie, what are you still doing there? Come on, join the conspiracy. Follow them inside. Go and join them. Was it the best? I mean, quitting with judge? Mother, I am sick and tired of living an illusion. Illusion? Assumption. I have to move on with my life. Ada, you, have you considered how hot he will be if he eventually comes home and realizes that you're now with another man? Mother, the fact that you all dropped me off doesn't mean we have anything going. Circumstances made him drop me off. If you care to know, Joel is married. Well, I was just thinking... That you just you made a mistake, Mother. Drop the subject. Yeah. How's the shop doing? And I pray. I'm listening. Good. Do you think she is right about me? Who? Oh. Her daughter. She thinks I'm very possessive. I've been restricting her movements a lot. Uh, do you think she's right? Well, at some point in a child's life, you need to respect their sense of maturity and trust their choices between right and wrong. Your duty as a, as a parent should be to guide them when necessary and free their minds when appropriate. And I think this is Ada's age of having a free mind. So I suggest we allow her that freedom. I see. In other words, you believe I have been caging her a lot, don't you? I know that sooner or later you will find a way of roping me in on this. Of course you are involved, yes. Involved how? By sabotage. They are reacting the way they are doing because You've been telling them that my teachings are not in their own interest. Joseph, please. Don't just Joseph please me. Look, Edna, let's face it. Hmm? I'm in prayer. Oh. <laughs> my dear Edna is in prayer once more. All right, St. Edna. Pray hard so that I don't get affected by your faint will. Amen. Good. Good. Let me go and call them. So what is your name?
Oh my god! Oh my god! George, is that you? It's me. It's me. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! See, Rackles? Yes, ma'am. Go to your duty post now. Are you still scared of me? Don't mind a little girl. I know that my God will answer my prayer and bring you home alive someday. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. George. Look at you. Brother, oh, you're welcome. You're so big. Oh, my God. Yes. Come on. So, Mom, uh, where's everybody? I mean, where's my wife and my baby? Yeah, Mom. Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Um, dinner for tonight. That will be a little hectic. Or, um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. My mother is inviting me for dinner tonight at the family house. Sure, you can go. Yeah, cool. Hello. Mom, yes, it's a deal. You've got yourself a deal. You, myself, and someone special I want you to meet. 8 p.m. Uh, hold on. Is 8 p.m. good? Me? No, I'm, I'm not going with you. Why aren't you going? I already told her yes. No, no, no. You can't, you can't possibly tell her yes. I mean, I can't go. No, but baby. She's on the line. I'm not going to go the through this emotional blackmail with you. Please. Uh, yeah, mom, mom, just just hold okay, on one second. I'm trying to sort yes. something out, okay? Tell her yes. What? Yes. 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 Yes, mom. You, me, and yeah, someone shout special. Out to yes. Him. What? Shout oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, mom. Okay. Yes, we'll be there. Yeah. Love you. Bye. I was shouting. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. How'd you like to do that? I'm sorry. My mom is a wonderful lady. You will love her. That's like laying an ambush for me. Sorry. How are you? I'm doing well. You? Dixon! Dixon! Yes, mom. Get it all. Dixon. Jesus. Bro, George. Yourself comfortable, okay? Let me just run in and get you something to drink. No, DK, wait. See, I'm not thirsty. All I want now is to see my family. Where is that and my baby? boy was presumed dead. I don't care. Just give me a break. Did you understand simple English? Give me a break! Okay. Please, can I use your phone? Oh my God. Use my phone. Use my walking stick. Use anything you want, but just give me a break.
Kepler. Now. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Is there a problem? My mom, she wants me home now. Now, like now? Yeah, now, like now. She sounded a bit worried. Okay, so we go? Yes, please, we go. It's okay, George. It's okay. Why wouldn't my stepmom tell me? What, what, why did she have to shift the pork by asking me to come over to this place? Why? why? Maybe she isn't brave enough to cause you pain. Indeed. Mommy, is there anything you're not telling me? Is there anything I'm supposed to know? George. The truth is that Crown died of leukemia. That's just the truth. Why? For me, ask. Mother, I just need some time off. Can you just leave me alone for a minute? Brother, are you okay? I'm fine! Joy, can you just tell me what happened? Mother, I know you care about me. But you need to know when to back off. I need a little time on my own, please. I need a minute. Brother? Don't call me! Joel! What? The table is set. I'm not eating anymore. I'm not hungry. Go ahead and eat. Mom, I don't just understand. Did he just come to this place just to pick on us? I think something is wrong with my son. And I need to talk to him. Hell no. No, Mom, you can't go to his place this night. You can't see him today. Can't you see that he's not himself? That's more reason why I shouldn't see him. He might not be heading to his house. Mom. You don't have to ever see him this night. He might not even talk to you. Just look at the way he walked out on you. Are you even sure you clean this house? From all wrongs comes strength. The strength of forgiveness. That, honey, is what you need to pull up at this moment. Those two have been through a lot. You know that, sweetheart. The grief of their son's death is enough to draw pity from every human soul. But no. 
the grief he inflicted on me by stealing my daughter is enough for me to hate him for the rest of his life. I am a knight of the church. Now imagine the scandal, the shame, the trauma, for God's sake. I've had to endure all this. And just when I thought that the storm had blown over, in comes this idiot like a bad coin to hunt me. And, and you're telling me... What are you doing? Honey? 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 Young man, what are you doing here? I've told you I don't want to see you here again. And let me warn you, if you've come to this place again, whatever happens to you, don't blame me. Please leave. Now, that's done. Now! Sorry, son. Just let him be. I don't know what has come over him. It's alright, it's okay. He's my son, right? Let me talk. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, what do you want us to talk about? A lot, Dad. Mm -hmm. One? Dad, I'm surprised at you. Why? Can you be this hard on George after eight years of marriage to my sister? She was never married to him. Two? Okay, the key word here is eight years. That eight years of unflinching cold war. Eight years of hostility and brutality. All in the defense of our church doctrine. Dad, does it really make sense? Of course it does, it makes a lot of sense. Go on. Okay, as you justify your jihad, what would you say about those of our brothers who go as far as Killing, all in the name of God. Are you any different from them? Oh yes, I am different. One, I have never killed anybody in the name of religion. Two, I don't go about burning places of worship. And you see the difference now? Okay. After two years of the charade called marriage, I tried to reconcile myself with that pain. I was getting used to that situation when the young man disappeared. He turns up like a bad coin after six years to inflict more trauma on me by wanting to take Adora again. I will not take that. Oh yes, I will not take that. Dad. Yes? If you think that by tomorrow when I am ready to go back to my husband's house, you're going to stop me? Adora, stop. No, 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 Edna, come on. Let that urchin talk and insult me. She's my daughter after all. Go on, heap it on me, come on. Like I was saying that, I am going back to my husband's house tomorrow. And God save whomever it is that tries to stop me. Whomever, Dad. Whomever. Edna, I'm sorry for your daughter. Yes, I am. I'm sorry for your daughter. Mom, Linda, and even you, Chris. Chris, you were here, and these people subjected my wife to such a strait. Calm down, bro. Look, I tried the best I could. Oh, you tried your best. Your best wasn't good. Your best wasn't good enough. God damn it, it wasn't good to keep my family intact. So had I died, Chris. Had I died. This would have been it, right? George, your wife got out of hand. Oh, don't give me that scrap. What about my son? My son got out of life, isn't it? Isn't it? My son suffered hate. He suffered hate from the people that were meant to be his own people. He suffered till he died. 
I put my life online for the betterment of everybody. I solved shelter. I solved hunger as much as I could. I tried to restore peace to this family by breaking the barriers that polygamy has placed over us. And this is what I get. This is what I get from the people I call my own people, my family. George. Oh, shut up. You've got to hear us. Oh, don't you dare mention my name, mom. Don't you. I don't even know why I'm calling you mom because you're supposed to be my mom. You've got to hear us out. Yeah, hello? Yeah, Peter, hi. No, no, no. Everything is fine, I'm fine. <clears throat> and you? Cool. Hey, um, Peter, can you do me a favor? I need you to get me a UK visa. No, 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 no. let's cha change it to Canada. Can you? Like like ASAP, like yesterday. Okay, man. Okay, do what you can for me. I just need to get out of here. You know. No, no, everything is fine. I'm out. It's good. All right, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Good night. So how are you? I'm fine. Fine, thank you. Joel, I want to explain what happened at my place yesterday. There's no need to explain. I know what happened. I was there. I saw it. Your husband whom has been going away for a very long time. And you presume dead is back. Right? I still need to explain to you, Joel. I don't think it's necessary. I'm moving in with him. I don't intend to hurt you, but what happened between us was an accident. Accident? An accident is what you call it? I never meant for it to happen. But it happened. It happened. And we had a good thing going. We had a bond going. With no regrets. Not unless you're telling me you were playing me all along. I wasn't playing you all along. Then? I've been married to George before. Yes. We're married. And now he needs my help. Because he wants to start life afresh again. Joel, I don't want you to think that after losing your wife because you wanted to help me, I didn't appreciate it. I do. But I can't afford to let George go now. You're a good man. And I feel so terrible if I broke your heart. Honestly. I understand. I understand. I understand. I'll be fine. 
I hope you will be. I'll be fine. Joel, believe me when I say that you are a good man. You are every woman's dream. Thank you. I should leave now. Yeah. Be happy, yeah. Sir, your son came to brief me about the ugly development between you and your daughter ever since she married that young man. Point of correction, father. They're not married. Joseph. Listen, don't interrupt me. Father is here. We must call the fact will be made available to him. Father, they are not married. He took her away and they did some kangaroo something at the court which they called marriage which I did not consent to and I refused to recognize as marriage. Why? But I'm surprised at you. You're asking me why? I'm sorry if I do upset you sir but with all due respect a marriage that is validly certified by civil authorities is a marriage irrespective of the fact that they did not go to the church to perform sacrament of matrimony. The marriage is highly recognized by civil society. Father, I do not serve the civil societies. I serve the one and only through God who revealed himself to us through the ministry of his church. That one and only true God, sir instructed us in his holy book to obey civil authorities. And his only son, Jesus Christ, recognized this by attending a civil marriage that was performed at Canaan in Galilee, where he turned water into wine by providing the best wine for the celebrant when he ran out of drinks. Wait a minute, Father. What you're telling me is that we Catholics, particularly those of us who are knights, should simply fold our arms and watch these morally bankrupt Protestants who even endorse same-sex marriages to take our daughters from us and drag them into perdition in what they call marriage. Is that what you're trying to make me understand? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, what I'm saying is this, sir. Uh, who eats, do not condemn who abstains. It is only our Lord that will bring to light what is hidden in darkness. Show your children the way of a life, good will of life, and they will follow it. They will never, never depart from it. This one deviated. I taught her the right things she ought to know, but she permitted herself to be influenced by other things outside the family. And this is why she's in this mess. I think I did my best, Father, as a knight of the church. Even so, sir, the word of the Lord is not the word of a man. The strength of the love that you will show to them could bring that young man back to church. Love, Christ said, is the greatest commandment. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. He did not say love a good neighbor. He did not say love a good denomination neighbor. He said love your neighbor as you love yourself. See that young man as a son and as a neighbor. Pray for him and your daughter and leave every other thing about denomination to God who said that the gate of hell shall not prevail against his church. And everything will be in control, sir. Father, 
I just remember that I forgot to show you love like my neighbor when you came in. I'm sorry for that, Father. Edna, get Father a bottle of wine to take home. Thank you, Father. We usually sell to our place of market in a boat other than road because of the increasing presence of the police people and other law enforcement agents. So uh, on this day it was very unfortunate. We didn't know that the Colombian government had displaced the gorilla anti-government gorilla fighters. So they all relocated to the to settle at the coast where we operate. Where is your spot? Baby, please let's not go there. Let's not just talk about it. Please. It's behind. We agreed. At least now that it's over, I think it's the right time for you to tell me everything. Tell me. Where is your spot? See, darling, when I went back, my shop was raided. I had nothing else to lean on. You had nothing to lean on. My boutique, your child I was carrying at that time. You have nothing to lean on. Do you know what you've done? Yeah, I know. I know, but... You know? How could you possibly know what I went through on account of your disappearance? How could you know? See, baby, I'm really sorry. I understand, but... It... You don't understand. How can you possibly understand what it feels like to have your son die in your arms and be there and watch and be able to do little or nothing? How could you possibly understand that? How? I see, baby. I was under pressure. I had the motive of making life more meaningful for our only child. Not on the detriment of our lives. Not on the detriment of our joy. Not on the detriment of our strength. You, you judge, you are our strength. You took that away from us for six years. Six years, George. Six years. We were selling to our point of market. What, what, what were you dealing on? Daddy, in all honesty, I have to be sincere to you. I don't do it again. I mean, I don't involve myself again. So I have to tell you what I was doing. I, I was dealing on drugs. Good. All right, go on. So, we are selling to a point of market oblivious that the terrorists have relocated to that place. Like a thunder flash. They surfaced from under the waters where they were keeping surveillance. And the commander that was guiding us opened fire on them. So they retaliated and in a twinkle of an eye, five of my men were down and dead. I was shot, so I, I, I fell into the river. Later they rescued me and three other men that jumped into the river in a bit to escape. They took us to their camp as hostages. One of us that understands their local language said they were suspecting. They, 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 they had this feeling we were we, we spies from the government. So they kept us in a room for 16 days without food and water. That we were under severe torture. Mm. Severe torture. They were believing maybe on the course of the torture we will confess that we were spies because they were fighting the government. After our detention, they conscripted us, trained us, handed us guns. 
we are in charge of ambushing and killing unsuspecting government forces. Mm. On one of the occasions, we were not aware that the government forces knew of an ambush. Mm. So they set trap for us with three of their men as against 50 elsewhere. And we were only 10. They massacred, they, they, kill, they killed us like flies. Mm. So leaving I and one other juvenile, they conscripted too. So we surrendered and handed over our guns. So they, they took us, charged us with treason and terrorist activity. So we were found guilty and condemned to death. So while we were in detention and waiting our execution, I met another young man who I never knew was a son to one of the top government officials. There were some prisoners who were planning to execute the boy as a way of getting back at the father for the reforms he made that landed them in the prison. Mm -hmm. The night they were to execute their plans, I was busy trying to obtain some, some cheese from the young lad. So when they came, I had to put my gorilla training to practice. I don't know how it happened, but I killed two of them and one of them fled. This was happening around March and we were supposed to be executed in April. Mm. On the day of our execution, there was a fiat putting on hold our execution. Sometime around June, I was called to the prison marshal's office. Mm. And the man in his little English speaking ability said, you have grant you have granted pardon. <laughs> I didn't understand what he was saying. In fact, till he offered me a handshake mm -mm. and said, when one to go. <laughs> that was when it dawned on me that something miraculous was taking place. The next thing I found myself was in Nigeria. Hmm. Congratulations, sir. Well, this certainly was a miracle, if you ask me. Well, that goes to show you that once God is behind you, you can get through any kind of ordeal for as long as you try to keep straight. God wants you to turn your life around. That's why he uh, rescued you. Otherwise, I don't think that God specializes in rescuing drug dealers. So congratulations, sir. Um, it won't happen again. Welcome.